Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be having a look at all the Warhammer products available to pre order this coming Saturday. Doesn't look like one of the best weeks for Warhammer previews, but there's some great models in there, all the same, and lots of books as well. So if you're into the Black Library, then this could be a good week for you. So let's get started with the first model, and this is for Warhammer the Horus Heresy, and it's the Serastus Knight Lancer. You'll also be able to use this model in Warhammer 40k, and it's going to come with an iron gauntlet and shock lance as well. We're told it's extremely tall and incredibly poseable, so you're going to have lots of ways to put this together. And you're going to get loads of transfers as well, because the transfer sheet contains 517 transfers, and these will be a mix of the knight household emblems. This is going to be a plastic kit, so if you used to like this when it was available from Forge World as a resin miniature, and that was a little bit pricey for you, now this should be a little bit more affordable in plastic. Next, we're over to Warhammer Underworlds with Scabix Plague Pack, and this is going to be six new miniatures for Underworlds for the Skavens. And it's always nice to see some new models being released for the Skaven. And Scabic there, the top middle, certainly gives me a Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim vibe. Very nice model. That's probably the favourite out of all of them. I like the one down the bottom right as well. But yeah, they're going to fit in nicely with the older sculpts, but really good to see some updated ones. As an Underworld set, they're going to get all the cards as well to play these in Underworlds. And then hopefully we'll get some rules for them for Age of Sigmar soon as well. Then sticking with Underworlds, we've got the Paths of Prophecy, the Rivals deck. This is an objective-based deck, and they say it pairs well with Control Warbands. So if you're looking for a warband that's got a high model count, like the Skaven Scabix Plague Pack, then this could be a good option for you. Now we're on to Necromonda, and we've got Ironhead Squat Prospector's Claim Jumper, another new miniature that's going to be available to add to your Iron Heads. This comes with two models. You get the Claim Jumper, who's the squat himself, and then you're also going to get the Techmite Autoveyor, and that's going to help him sniff out some loot and other rich pickings. These are both resin models. They're going to be available from Forge World, and we won't get the prices for these until they actually are released on the day. So next Saturday, when they're released for pre-order, we'll get the prices confirmed. For most of the other products we see, we should get confirmed prices tomorrow for the EU and UK. And it'll be a quite a quick video, that one, but I'll certainly be covering it tomorrow if you're interested in finding out the prices. But this character here and his Techmite Autoveyor, we won't get that until Saturday. Let's have a look at the Black Library now. We've got the Fall of Cadia, the Mega Limited Edition. This box set is going to give you the Fall of Cadia by Robert Rath, and this is going to be the novel itself. This is going to come in a magnetic presentation case where you'll get a brown leather fat cover on the book with gold foil blocking designs and a brown ribbon bookmark. Each copy is going to be numbered and signed by the author, and there's only going to be 1,750 copies available. So like with all these kind of things, you've got to get in there quick if you want to get hold of it. These are available directly from Games Workshop on their website, and we don't get the prices confirmed for these until the day they go out for pre-order. So next Saturday, we'll get the price for this one. But as well as the book in there, you're also going to get the Metal Cadian Medal with a pin, Replica dog tags for Lord Castellan, Urasaka E. Creed, and a poster map of Kazir Kraf. And on top of that, you'll get a 64-page softback in-world diary written by Cadet Corporal Wellam Jossip of the 322nd Conscript Regiment. So lots going on there. Nice looking box set. If you like collecting these, you'll have to get in quick, but that medal's pretty cool. Right, we've got quite a lot of books to go through. First of all, we've got Vainglorious by Sandy Mitchell. This is available in hardback, ebook, and audiobook formats. Then we've got Cyphus Kane, the anthology, again by Sandy Mitchell, available in hardback, ebook, and audiobook formats. Then Longshot, an Astra Militarum novel by Rob Young. This one's available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook too. Then there's for Glory and Honour by Andy Clark, Josh Reynolds and Ian St. Martin. This one's going to be available in paperback and ebook. You've got Kazakin by Eduardo Albert. And this is going to be available to pre-order next week as what looks like just the paperback. 
And then there's a Grey Knight audiobook, The Emperor's Gift by Aaron Dembski Bowden. That's only going to be available there to pre order as the audiobook. Then there's Witchbringer, but the French edition by Stephen B. Fisher, available for the French audience in paperback and ebook. Then there's Huron Blackheart, Master of the Maelstrom, the German edition, available in paperback and ebook formats. And then there's Renegades, Harrowmaster, the French edition by Mike Brooks. This one's available in paperback and ebook formats too. And then we're on to Warhammer Plus. If you're signed up to that, then you've got a battle report for Warhammer 40,000. And that's going to be going with the Death Guard against Astra Militarum. And then Lawmasters is going to be looking at the Narwood. Big thanks to the sponsors this month for helping me keep going with these daily videos and keeping you updated with all the prices. If you're looking to order any of these, it'd be great if you check out the links down below. And I'll be confirming the prices tomorrow. If you're interested in having a look at the Necromonda core rulebook, I've done a video on that one where I do a complete overview going through the whole book and the core gang tactics cards. I'm also going to be doing another video tomorrow for the Open Hive War card pack so you can have a good look at those too. They did sell out really fast, but you still might get the core cool rulebook from your friendly local game stores, and you can certainly get it as an EPUB document. If you like terrain, you might want to watch this custom 40 cane terrain series I'm working on at the moment. I've done part one already, that's up on the channel, showing you how I'm putting together tournament terrain for 16 tables to get ready for my upcoming tournament on the 20th of August. That's it for this week's preview though, not an awful lot to look at, some good models, but nothing that's really jumping out for me. But let me know what you think in the comments section below, it'd be great to hear what you'll be picking up, if anything, this week. But thanks so much for watching, hope you liked it, if you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you, and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.